Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his home. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord and all my soul and all that is within me. Bless his soul. Have a have a father. Here we are one more time in your presence, Lord. Father God, we say thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for your grace, your mercy, and your love, Father God. Lord God, as we lay last night, you cover us. You touch us this morning. Here we are in your presence, Father. Saying thank you, Lord, because you are our God. And beside you, there can be no other. Lord God, forgive us all of our sins. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness, Father. Lord God, we sin thought, word, and deed. We ask you to forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Have mercy upon us, Jesus. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Time and season is in your hands, Father. Lord God, this is an unusual time, but it's in your hands, Lord. 
Father, cover us, Lord. Help us to cope, Father, with this season that we are in. Father, this too shall pass, but strengthen us to go through it, Father. Please strengthen us to go through it, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father, you are from generation to generation. And Lord God, we pray for the generation that to follow us, Lord God. Strengthen them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, you are God. <clears throat> Help us, Lord God, in all that we do and say, Father. This is a time we never see before, Father. But nevertheless, you are with us. A lot of people have passed and gone, but you cover us, Lord God. Help us to continue to do the right thing, Father. Washing our hands, wearing the mask, Lord God. Social distancing, Father. Lord God, help this coronavirus that is on the land, Father. Lord, it raises its ugly head again, Father, but you can sat it down. Lord God, send it back to the pit of hell where it belongs. This was also put on Calvary for us, Father. Blood was shed. We are so glad to be in your presence, Lord God, to listen to your word, Father. Lord God, we ask you to strengthen the preacher today, Lord God. She has been true, Father, but you stand with her, Lord God. She's your child. Stand with her, Lord God. You say we cannot hear without a preacher. Help her word to fall on good ground, Father, that we may hear what you have to say to each and every one of us this morning. Father, we thank you, Lord God. We just say thank you. Cover the children, Lord God. Cover them, Lord God, who are going to school or who stay home. Cover them, Lord God. Give them a mind to concentrate so that they'll hear, Lord God, and understand, Father. Lord, we thank you this morning for your love, your grace, and your mercy. Father God, as we are in this new normal, virtual things coming through, but help us to focus, focus on you. Help us to love each other more and draw closer to the throne of grace. Father God, you say in the last days, everybody will hear about you. And virtually everybody is hearing about you, Lord. Help us to continue. Holding on to your unchanging and Father. You say, no man, no, not the hour. So help us to keep our hands in your and Father. Help us to do the right thing, Lord God. Help us to pray and help us to draw closer to you, Father God. Abba, Abba, Father, have mercy upon us this day, Lord God. Father, we love you. We worship you. We glorify you. Look, Lord God, upon the sick, Lord God, the homeless, Lord God, and the shut in. Father God, we just say thank you. Oh God, look upon the incarcerated in the name of Jesus, I pray. Lord God, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. In Jesus' wonderful, glorious, majestic name, I pray. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, 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 Savior, Savior, Savior. Savior, 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 Jesus, 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 Healer, 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 
God be the glory, to God be the glory, to God be the glory for the great things God has done, the great things God is doing, and the great things God is about to do. We give God praise for another day's journey, and I'm so grateful to God that you thought enough of God and of us to be a part of this worship experience. I am the Reverend Dr. Kevin D. Miller, and I have the wonderful blessing of serving as the pastor of the Part of Community AME Church, located physically in Jamaica, New York, but right now it can be viewed all around the world. So I thank God that you are with us today as we have this worship experience. I want to thank God for everyone, and I especially want to thank God for all of you who are part of the Carter Community family. Last week, we had a great time celebrating our 73rd church anniversary. So this was a celebration for all of us. So I just, once again, just want to thank you, 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 and you. What an extraordinary afternoon that we had virtually. What an amazing time just to give God glory for 73 years. So we thank God for the founders of Carter Community, Reverend Julius Carter and Mother Karina Heyman Carter, and for all that they poured out. We are a part of a great legacy. So I just wanted to say thank you, Carter Community, for being there, and thank you, Carter Community, for, for, for the reason to celebrate last week 73 years of what God has done in our midst. Just a few announcements, and certainly for those who are listening on our prayer line, please, please, please stay around for a few moments after service today, and we'll give you this information. Uh, but we invite you certainly to join us every Thursday for our 6 a.m. prayer call, and Monday through Wednesday and on Friday, we invite you to join Bishop Gregory G.M. Ingram and Reverend Dr. Jessica Kendall Ingram for their 6 a.m. prayer call. It is a wonderful opportunity. Come on out and be blessed and start your day in spiritual fellowship one with another as we give God praise. Wednesday night, we'll have our Bible study at 7 o'clock. We invite you to join us. And also, we encourage you to stay in God's word. Stay in God's word. Stay in God's word. You see the weekly scriptures there. So we invite you to study God's word on your own time and draw closer in your relationship with God. October is a busy month. It is a busy month. But we wanted to stop and really just do a couple of acknowledgments. This month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and it's also Domestic Violence Awareness Month. On your screen, you see some of this information, and we want to encourage you. Many of us know people uh, who, who are battling this disease called cancer. Uh, many of you have heard me kind of share a story of a close friend of mine who is in South Korea right now. South Korea right now battling breast cancer. When you are on the prayer line, you hear me call some of these names. And there are people who have asked for prayer and said, Pastor, just don't call my name, but just, just know and just let me know that you're lifting me up. So there are members in our church family that have battled breast cancer, members in our own family who have battled breast cancer. So this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I want to encourage everyone to get their mammograms. If you want information, you can find information online by going to nationalbreastcancer.org, or you can call the Cancer Helpline which is 1-800-227-2345. We want to encourage you, get checked, get checked, get checked. 
Also, this very month is also Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And you all know here at Carter Community, we don't stand for domestic violence. We stand against domestic violence. So if you are in that kind of situation, we want to encourage you to seek help, seek shelter, and to get out of that situation. And especially in this time with this social distancing and people aren't going out the way that they normally would. We have seen numbers, particularly in New York City, be on the rise. So we want to encourage people. You can go to thehotline.org. Again, thehotline.org to get information there. But you can also call for help. And we want you to do that as well. You can call 1-800-799-SAFE. Again, 1-800-799-SAFE. This Tuesday, Conversations with the Pastor at 6.30. We look forward to welcoming Minister Lawrence. You know this person well, Reverend Greta Anderson, uh, the Reverend Andrew Wilkes, uh, who is the Senior Director of Policy and Advocacy for Generation Citizen. These past couple of weeks have been focused on the vote, focused on voter suppression. So we invite you to come out and hear Reverend Wilkes right here on this Facebook platform this Tuesday at 6.30 as we talk about what we need to do to mobilize and get out the vote. Your vote matters. Election day is Tuesday, November 3rd. I have mailed my absentee ballot. We are also going to go to encourage people to go to vote early starting this Saturday, this Saturday in New York City and in some places around the country is already in effect. But in New York City, this Saturday, uh, early voting begins. So I encourage you, I urge you, I push you, I pray for you. Please go out and exercise your right to vote. This election is important. Vote. Get out and vote. Go and, and, and make sure if you got to stand on a long line, you stand on the long line. Too many people have, have sacrificed their lives, their resources, their relationships, so that you and I can have the right to vote. Be clear about this. This election is critical. Go out and vote. Don't listen if they say that your candidate is ahead. Don't listen. Go out and vote and make sure that your vote counts. We've come to this time in our worship experience. We invite you to give your tithes and your offerings. But let me say this, Carter community, you have been faithful to the glory of God. And I am so very grateful. You, Each and every one of you have given, you have given because you've trusted God and we have been doing the work of ministry. So I thank God for each and every one of you. As we come for this time to give, I invite you, there are three ways you can give to the ministry. You can give through the Givelify app, Search Carter Community AME Church, PayPal, search Carter Community AME at gmail.com, or, or you can mail your gift to Carter Community at 112 25 167th Street, Jamaica, New York, 11433. Let me give you the address again at 112 25 167th Street in Jamaica, New York, and the zip code is 11433. Would you join me in a word of prayer? God, we want to thank you for the gift and for the giver. Thank you, God, because you have blessed Carter community to be a blessing to others. So God, we give you praise, we give you honor, and we absolutely give you glory. Bless everyone underneath the sound of my voice for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. At this time, we'll have our scripture lesson which will be read to us by Brother David Washington, and it'll come out of Philippians, the second chapter, verses 1 through 11. Amen. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded having the same love, being one in spirit and one in mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. 
in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in very nature, God did not consider equality with God, something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Brother Washington, for reading that scripture today. I mentioned earlier in this worship experience that October is a busy month. And we want to thank God right now for members of clergy, wherever they may be. We give God praise for each and every one of them. We thank God for their calling. We thank God for their ministry. We thank God for the lives that God uses them to impact so many people. So we just want to take a moment right now at Carter Community, not just to thank clergy everywhere, but I want to take a moment to thank some of the clergy that work with us here at Carter Community. So right now, I want to give God praise for our Minister of Music, Reverend Emmanuel Coleman. We thank God for him. He has been with us now for several years. Reverend Coleman, we appreciate what you do. And for many of you who don't know, Reverend Coleman is not just our minister of music, but he also is a minister and he pastors and preaches in so many different places. So God has called him in so many different directions, but it is a gift to me and it is absolutely a gift to us to have him be a part of our worship community here at Carter Community. So we just want to say to God be the glory as we thank God for you, Reverend Coleman. We thank God for how God has continued to use you at Carter Community and beyond Carter Community preaching, teaching, and doing this great work for kingdom building. So God bless you, my brother. And to you, you we want to say hey, to God be the glory and clergy appreciation month. We appreciate you, my brother. Thank you, sir. God bless everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. Praise God, praise God, and praise God again. And I want to stop for a minute. And I really want to acknowledge a couple of things. I was thinking about clergy appreciation today. And, and speaking to my queen, I really became overwhelmed with emotion because God absolutely knows what you need, when you need it, and who God is going to help supply that for you. During my time at Carter Community, and this is, this is a rarity, but during my time at Carter Community, I've never been at Carter Community. I didn't have help. I've always had at least one person on my left and one person on my right. When I think back to, to when I first arrived at Carter Community and the, and the ministers and the preachers that have been a part of this journey, I, I, I can't even go any further without calling the names of, of Reverend Annie Godfrey, Reverend Anthea Byfield. Those are the first two. We thank God for uh, Reverend Theodore Nichols. We thank God for Reverend Delana Patterson, who came from a whole nother district and was here for a season right right when we needed her. We thank God for Reverend LaWanda Miller and Minister Sean Hickman. All of these persons, I, I can't thank God enough for them. Yes, thank you, God. I mean, I just when I just think about... Thank God. When I just think about what these ministers have meant, mm -hmm. not just to my life and to my ministry, but to the life and ministry of Carter Community, I can't help but give God praise. So I also want to stop and I want to thank God in this moment for the Reverend Greta Gaynor Anderson, this powerful woman of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has used her. God has blessed her. She has been a beacon for us. Amen. God has used her in ways that she doesn't even know about. That has not only affected my life and ministry, but my queen, my family, our girls, Reverend Anderson, you are a gift. And I thank God for you. I thank God for Brother Harold. I thank God for the sacrifices you continue to make 
Fort Carter community. It is a gift to have you on one side of me on this journey. Because clearly there have been times where I wasn't quite sure how things were going to work out and you prayed or you gave a word of encouragement. Yeah. We are in your debt in a way that I cannot even fully express. Amen. So for this clergy appreciation day, I am overwhelmed and I just thank God for your ministry. I thank God for your sacrifice. I thank God that you are on one side of me. Yeah. And on the other side, Minister Tanisha Lawrence, who would have known? Yes, Lord. Who would have known just how deeply rooted you would be in this church family? Who would have known how God would have used you to push us into a spiritual place? Who would have known when you showed up that God was going to use you to help us reflect on, on our soul care? Help us to reflect on our spiritual relationships with God. Mm -hmm. wow. I had no idea. But I knew from the moment I saw you that there was going to be some kind of connection. And I'm not talking about the first time you came to the Carter community. I'm talking about when you sat down between, in front of the Committee on Ministerial Orders. Mm. Wow. I thank God for you. I thank God for your prayers. And really, I thank God for your spiritual humility. You have such power, such anointing, such grace. And you walk with the sword of the spirit and you're like, look, God, I'm not going to pull it out unless you tell me to. Mm, thank you. I can't thank you enough for sharing your ministry with me, sharing your ministry with my queen, sharing your ministry with Carter community. We are all in your debt. And I want to say to both of these wonderful, powerful women of God, I want to thank you on behalf of my queen of the impact you have on Kyra and Michaela. Yeah. They see you. Yeah. They watch you. Yeah. They listen to you. They, they they see how you operate in the spirit. So 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 to minister Tanisha Lawrence, thank you, my sister. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my family. You are a gift. And so I just wanted to say to both of you, even as I acknowledge all of the other associate ministers that have been around me, I want to say thank you to both of you, because the only reason. The only reason why I can still stand here, the only reason why my queen and I can still stand in this space and in this place is because you both have been obedient to God. And we thank God for your ministry, for your sacrifice, and for your selflessness. So to both of you, on the left and on the right, we say congratulations, happy clergy appreciation to both of you. To God be the glory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God you. bless you. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you so much, Reverend. And Carter. Thank you. It is my absolute gift. My absolute gift to introduce our preacher today. She is a gift to me. She's been a gift to Carter community. I thank God for her. She is the presiding elder of the Jamaica Long Island District. And I knew her before she became our presiding elder, when she was the pastor of Mount Zion AME Church in Harlem, New York, a church where her family started and founded. What a gift to be able to go back to the church and be the pastor at a place that, you're, that, that is tied to rich history and a rich legacy. I want to thank God for our preacher today, because many people may not know this, but whenever we are in these connectional meetings and these connectional gatherings, I'm usually there and I'm just watching, watching and paying attention and seeing how God moves. And I thank God for this preacher because she has just moved with a, with a unique grace, yes. a, a unique presence, mm -hmm. a unique prayer. She has, every time I've had a question, she's taken my call and has <laughs> given me wise counsel. She prays for me. She prays for Carter community. She prays for this district. And there are some people I know the Bible talks about us not having debt, but the reality is that, that she is someone for whom I owe a debt to that can never fully be repaid. Mm -hmm. She is in fact the jewel of the Jamaica Long Island district. Amen. And we bless God for her today. And I'm so grateful to God that when I reached out to her to ask if she could come during this clergy appreciation month, sure, we want to hear a word from God, but, but really, I just wanted all of us to be in her spiritual presence as she gave God glory. 
So yes. Father, we reach you today. I want to say thank you. Thank you for your support of this pastor. Thank you for your support of the Carter Community Ministry. Thank you for your care and your concern for my family. We cannot thank you. Enough. We absolutely give God praise for you. So my sisters and my brothers, wherever it is you may be, wherever it is you may be, as we appreciate God today for this morning's preacher, I want you to do what is not common. I want you to unbuckle your seatbelt. <laughs> Usually they tell you to buckle up, but when you got to give God praise, I tell you, I can't even sit long when I want to give God glory. So unbuckle your seatbelt now. So when you get ready to shout, you'll be all set to do it. Amen. When you get ready to run, you'll be ready to run. Because I can tell you this, no matter where you are, if God has done something in your life, God is worthy to be praised. To be praised. So after a selection, a somatic selection by the Reverend Emmanuel Coleman, the next voice you shall hear will be that of the Spirit of the Most High God speaking through this anointed, appointed, and chosen vessel for this hour the jewel of the Jamaica Long Island District, the Reverend Joanne Owens, the presiding elder of our wonderful district, Jamaica Long Island. Here he her. Hallelujah. among us let the glory of the Lord rise among us in the praises of our King rise among us let it rise let the glory of the Lord rise among us let the glory of the Lord rise among us in the praises of our King Rise among us, let him rise. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us in the praises of our King. Rise among us, let him rise. Let the song of the Lord. Rise among us, let the soul of the Lord rise among us in the praises of our King. Rise among us, let him rise. Oh, let the joy of the Lord rise among us, let the joy of the Lord rise among us. In the praises of my King, rise among us, let him rise. Oh, 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 let him rise. In the praises of my King, rise among us and let him rise. Oh, let the songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the songs of the Lord rise among us. In the praises of my King, rise among us and let him rise.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We thank God for this day, for this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am so happy to be with you, Carter community, and certainly to your pastor, Reverend Kevin, and to First Lady Myra, and to the uh, uh, younger Millers in the house, amen, to our ministerial associates and the officers and members, greetings in God's name on this, uh, in this um, Minister's Appreciation Month. And uh, thank God for you, Pastor Miller, for all that you do and all that you are doing uh, to certainly lift up the name of Jesus, but also to encourage others as they uh, walk in the light of God. I want to hasten along and bring you, as uh, the scripture was already read, I want to lift up a couple of verses, I believe, um, the last, last uh, three verses of the scripture coming from Philippians, the uh, second chapter, verses 9 uh, through 11. And it says, therefore, God exalted him in the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father, amen. Coming from this subject this morning, at the name of Jesus, let us pray. Gracious God, we come now. Let me hear your voice once more. Oh, as I decrease, Lord, increase. If I'm up too high, bring me down. If I'm down too low, lift me up. Yes. If I'm out too far, hold me closer. But let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. At the name of Jesus. Uh, names in ancient times were important. Certainly they are now, but in those times it was exceptionally important that one's name identified who you were and who you belonged to. It not only identified the person or connected the person to a family or to a clan, but the first name also alluded to the character of the person. Mm -hmm. Abram's name, for example, was changed to Abraham. He went from his name literally meaning exalted father to Abraham, roughly meaning uh, multitude or father of a multitude. His wife, Sarai, was changed, her name was changed to Sarah, meaning princess. Abraham was 99 years old and Sarah was 90 uh, uh, and, and well past childbearing age, but their name solidified the promise made to him, made to them both. Jacob's name meant supplanter or trickster. And his name was changed to Israel when God's plan for him had changed. After a fight with the angel of the Lord, God changed Jacob's name to Israel, meaning having power with God. Simon's name was changed to Peter when his character changed and we saw him becoming the rock God prophesied he would be. Saul became Paul when his opinion changed about the Lord. Hmm. The person knew your name, they knew the essence or nature of you. And that's why when Moses asked God at the burning bush, who shall I say sent me to tell Pharaoh to let my people go? Meaning, what, what is your name? And God answered and said, tell them I am that I am. I am, yeah. I am sent you, yeah. Jehovah. He was saying to Moses, you don't know me well enough to know my name. <laughs> wow. Just know that I am the one who is with you and was with you and will be with you, I 
am. But as God began to reveal more of God's self to humankind, God became known by different names according to the situation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When God told Abraham that he would be the father of many nations, he did not fully trust what God was, what he was hearing. Uh, he was over 99 years old and his wife, 90 years old, had passed the childbearing years as well. Abraham and Sarah took matters into their own hands, not trusting God and arranging for the old man to go to bed with Hagar, Sarah's mm -hmm. maid servant. And they had a Ishmael. God spoke to Abraham and reminded him that they still had a covenant and God told him that he was the almighty God, mm -hmm. El Shaddai. Mm -hmm. What God mm -hmm. was saying is that and he was all sufficient. That means that God is in control. Uh -huh. He was telling mm. Abraham not to look at the obstacles in front of the promise or the difficulty in achieving the goal or the sheer ridiculous nature of the promise. For certainly if somebody told me I was having a baby at this age, I'd certainly laugh as they did and say it's ridiculous. But trust mm. the almighty God. Mm -hmm. El Shaddai. Mm -hmm. There is nothing too hard for God. Come if on. God has made a promise, then God will make good on the promise. That's right. Yeah. El Shaddai will be there to see it through. You don't have to contrive an answer or manufacture a situation. You don't have mm -hmm. to make up lies or try to be something you're not. God is all sufficient. He does not need you to try to fix things or things, or take things into your own hands. He is El Shaddai. Yeah. When Abraham's faith was tested, he learned another attribute of God. Abraham took his precious son Isaac at the word of God to Mount Moriah. This is the same son that was promised to Abraham and Sarah. God told him to take his son and sacrifice him on the altar. This is the same boy who God promised in his old age with his wife, Sarah. This was the same boy who they cherished and doted over and bragged about and coddled. Uh, and now they were asked to sacrifice. They were asked to mm -hmm. kill the same son, their only son. Mm -hmm. But at the point of the sacrifice, sacrificing him in the name of, of God, Abraham heard God say, do not touch the boy. There is a ram in the thicket. Mm -hmm. Abraham called the place of that offering Jehovah Jireh. Yes. God will provide. That's right. In the nick of time, God came through. Now, can you testify to God's provision in your life? Uh huh. Think mm -hmm. about God has, has how God has come through for you just in the nick of time. Come on. It, it reminds me of the story of the woman who was heard praying and asking God to please supply food for her and her children. Hmm. Uh, the neighbor, thinking that he was being clever, left a bag of groceries at her door. And when the woman opened the door, she saw the groceries and began praising God, thanking God for his provision. The neighbor came out and said, why are you thanking God? I left the food for you. Mm. And the woman looked at him and said, who do you think arranged for that to happen? My God. God, Jehovah Jireh, mm -hmm. our provider. Now God will minister seed to the sower. Mm. Mm. We mm -hmm. can say like David, I was young, but now I'm old, but I've never seen mm -hmm. the righteous forsaken or seen. Come on now. Uh -huh. The name of God that that, that excites me the most, though, is God is healer. Yes. Jehovah Rafka. Mm -hmm. Knowing this attribute of God gives us a sense of power, mm -hmm. not in ourselves, but that we have a greater power to support our needs. Mm -hmm. God heals. Uh, that's good news to the one suffering from an incurable disease. Yeah. God heals. Yeah. Uh, that's good news to the one suffering from a broken heart 
caused mm -hmm. by the loss mm -hmm. of a loved one. Uh -huh. God mm -hmm. healed. Yeah. That's good news to the victim of a broken relationship. Mm -hmm. In this atmosphere of mistrust and division where communities are polarized, uh, we need to know the God who heals. Yes. God, uh, the one who said that you, you uh, the one who says that you uh, have to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Mm. That God. Certainly Jesus thought that certainly you can love yourself and love your neighbor. Yeah, yeah. Who said you can't dislike any other, another's opinion without disliking the person? Mm -hmm. Who said you can't have a debate without attacking another person? Mm. Come on, come on. If we ever needed God, uh, Jehovah Rapha, it's now. Yeah, yeah. Our world needs healing. Yes. Mourning the loss of over 2 million people from a virus we cannot cure. Our nation needs healing from the civil unrest we are now experiencing mm -hmm. and the continued inequity in our legal system. Mm -hmm. our cities need healing uh, from the frustration caused by the effects of this pandemic resulting in uh, a, a food insufficiency and and uh, hiring uh, difficulties and uncertainty in, in, in our place of living and an increase in crime. Our families need healing, yeah. weighed down by the decreased resources, strained mm. relationships, and in some cases, the loss of loved ones. My God. There My God. is a, an increase in domestic violence and child ab abuse, and we mm. need to know a God that will cut through the barriers of doubt and shame and anger and fear and prejudice and distrust and heal us. Mm -hmm. yes. Be able to move through the core and get to the place where we can find healing starting from the inside out. When my grandson was staying with me, it was around Christmas time and his mom was in the hospital and my husband was at home and I had to go out to the store and uh, get some last minute items because all of her three children at that time were with me. And I, I, when I came home, uh, the little one, he was about three years old at the time, Malcolm, who is now preaching, and he had gotten on the bed or and when he stepped off my bed he stepped into a cup of tea and the tea was hot and the hot water soaked into his sock and I said to my husband what happened and you know he was saying the little one was saying my foot hurts and my husband didn't know enough to take the sock off and when I took the sock off I saw that his foot had burned significantly I got up and rushed him to the hospital and, and they ministered to him and gave him some silverdine and other stuff that I had to put on his foot. And the doctor said, well, uh, don't allow the scab to go over, but uh, wash the foot and abrade the foot, taking the scab off each day and put this salve over it. And now I don't know about you, but I'm not to, um, I guess, squeamish, uh, and certainly uh, that would, I would think would hurt. This, this three-year-old was a brave soul. But what the doctor was saying, if you allow the scab to go over, then the healing underneath won't happen as it should. Mm -hmm. And so you have to keep taking the scab off each day in order for the healing uh, to, to properly, otherwise the skin will adhere to itself and he will not be able to walk. Oh, some of, we need that, that God of healing. We need the God of healing that will move in with us and through us and sometimes take off the scab that might hurt a little bit, but the healing that will start to happen, that will be need, that will start from the inside out, bring itself up that take, take off that scab. Yes, we have to confront our prejudices. We have to yes. confront those things that 
uh, uh, binding us together. We have to confront those things that might hurt initially, but the healing that will happen is is something that we cannot we cannot do on our own, but yes. we need God's help. We need that God, a God of healing. Yes, yes, yes. To know how to quote these names, though, to know how to quote all the names of God, and I uh, commend those that can, uh, from the top of their head, rattle it off. It's not as important, though, as knowing God. Yeah. Amen. God says, Amen. Know me Amen. first. And then you will know my name. Yes. Abide in me. And let my word abide in you. In you, yes. And whatever you ask in my name will be given you. God says to be connected to the vine, to be attached to the root. That's what I'm looking for. Mm. Ah, but there is one name. Uh huh. Break through the barriers of formality and pomp. This name mm. cut through the veil of arrogance that may arise when we think we have mastered the right formula for blessing. It is mm. the name of Jesus. Yeah. Jesus mm. said in the word that when you know him, you know the father. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Father of one. So if you can't remember Je uh, Yahweh, God Almighty, mm. or Jehovah Jireh, God our provider, or Jehovah Nisi, the Lord my banner. Uh -huh. Jehovah Hallelujah. Jehovah, the Lord our righteousness, or Jehovah yes. Rapha, God our healer. Just remember the name of Jesus, the name Amen. above all names. The hey. name when called on will make demons flee. Yes. The name that has authority in heaven and on earth. Mm -hmm. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every come on, come on. confess that, yes. that Jesus Christ is hey. Lord. There Hallelujah. Is I love to hear it. Uh, I love to sing it first. Hallelujah. It sounds like music in my ear, the sweetest name on earth. It tells of one whose love, loving heart can feel my deepest bone, who in my sorrow bears a part that no one can bear alone. Oh, how I love Jesus. Hey, oh, hey, how hey, I hey. love Jesus. Oh, yes. how I love Jesus because he first loved me. Jesus. Oh, how sweet the name. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Every name say the same. Jesus. Let all saints proclaim. Mm -hmm. Worthy play, praise. Forever. It's in the name. Yes. And the name is Jesus. Yes. 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 And, and amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. 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 There may be someone who is listening on Facebook or uh, clued into this uh, venue right now. There may be someone who is sharing uh, the telephone uh, that knows the name Jesus, but does not know inwardly that name. Oh. I invite you to be connected right now. Oh. I invite you to be connected to someone who can lift you, who can bring you out, who can heal you, who can deliver you. Someone asked, well, uh, is it so hard to become a part of the family of Jesus Christ? No, it's no, not it's hard. Not. All you have to do is confess with your mouth and that yes. you, Jesus Christ, give your life to him and say, Lord, today I'm going to follow you for the rest of my life. Yeah. Or do I have to do anything special? Do I have to learn anything special? No, all you have to do is say those things. You don't have to jump over any hoop. You don't have to run down any aisles. You don't have to foam at the mouth. You don't even have to speak in tongues in our tradition. All you have to say is, Lord, I give my life to you today. To you. Uh, but one thing is for sure that when God invites you to come to him, he says, come just as you are. And yeah. I, I am so glad that as I come as I am, God does not leave me that way, that he mm. takes me to his own and he molds me and he makes me to what he wants me to be. And so if you are here, if you're listening, if you're watching, certainly I invite you that you might, uh, as, the, as it's on the screen, that you might um, 
send your email to Carter Community AME at gmail.com. Or if you're there here and you're chatting, you can put your request in the chat that you want to be a part of the kingdom and you want to give your life to Amen. God. Uh, if you're sharing with somebody and, and you know somebody in your household, touch them right now and yes. ask them, do you want to be a part of God's army? Do you want to be a part yeah. of the connection? Oh, it's, it, it, it doesn't take but a moment. It does, you don't have to wait till you finish, uh, till you finish doing what you're doing. Uh, you don't have to stop smoking or drinking or, or, or whatever it is that you think is blocking you from making the decision. All you have to do is come. Yeah. All you have to do is come. If you're here and you hear my voice, pray with me now. Lord, Lord I give my life to you today. Give my life to you today. I ask your forgiveness Maxi, of things that I may have done things that by I may have thought, done. word, Maxi, and indeed. deed. I love you, Lord, and I'm ready to follow you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer for the first time, then certainly give your name to the pastor, but consider yourself saved. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory for the great things God has done. Can we give God praise for our presiding elder and for that word at the name of Jesus? To God be the glory. We bless God today. We thank God for you, Elder. Thank you for that message. And I just want to say uh, very quickly, uh, just a couple of things, and then we'll move on with the announcements and we'll be on our way. Uh, first of all, we just want to continue to keep everybody lifted in our prayers. Uh, we want to continue to keep the Gore family lifted up in our prayers. Uh, Brother Donovan reached out and asked uh, for prayers this week, so we want to keep him lifted up in prayers. We want to lift up prayers one for another, especially, and the Elder talked about this, all of the divisiveness that's going on in our country today and mistrust. I do believe in the power of prayer and I do believe that at the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. at the name of Jesus, everything's mm -hmm. going to be all right. So we give God mm -hmm. praise. Just a few more announcements as we thank God for our presiding elder. Uh, elder, if you were in the sanctuary today and, uh, and uh, Reverend Anderson, if you were in the sanctuary today uh, with permission from Brother Harold, uh, Minister Lars, if you were in the sanctuary today, <laughs> Uh, we absolutely, absolutely, absolutely will be giving you flowers to say thank you. Uh, so we ask on behalf, or I'm asking on behalf of Carter community, that at least for this moment, just for this moment, that you would accept these virtual flowers. <laughs> uh, virtual flowers for you as we say to God be all the glory. So presiding Amen. elder, receive these virtual flowers Amen. until the real ones arrive. Reverend Anderson, receive these virtual flowers until the real ones arrive. Mr. Morris received the virtual flowers until the real ones arrive. Reverend Comey, no flowers for you, my brother. <laughs> Amen. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. Well, thank we do you. say thank you to each and every one of you for the work that you do for God's kingdom. Just a reminder, ways to give to the ministry. You can use Givelify, use PayPal. You can certainly mail your gift to Carter Community right here in Jamaica, New York. We are in that season. Uh, we're voting. I mean, November 3rd is right around the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, so we want you to be out. We want you to encourage someone to vote. And in addition, this Carter Community Challenge, encourage someone to vote, but also reach out to people. Make sure they got a way to get to the voting uh, where they need to go cast their ballot. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are working on some things at Carter Community. We might even be able to carry some people there. Mm -hmm. I'm an old school when I say carry. We may, may even need to be able to carry some people from where you are if you need to get to a place to vote. So we're trying to get some things in place. But we want to make sure that everybody who wants to vote has the opportunity to vote. So this week, Carter Community, a Carter Community Challenge is, again, encourage someone to vote. Yes. Mm -hmm. And family, that's it for this week. Uh, for those that are on the prayer line, hang around for a little while after service today. want to speak to you. Also want to speak to members of the social media ministry and also want to ask if Brother Washington and uh, Miss Joe can hang around for a few minutes after service today. But that being said, 
It is our prayer that God will bless you and keep you until we have the good blessing of being together again. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you for, for giving God glory and thank you for worshiping with us. So to God be the glory for the great things God has done, is doing, and is about to do. Brother Coleman, my brother, bring us on home. All right. Again, we thank God for everybody. I'm smiling. I'm laughing. I didn't get no flowers, but a three-piece from Kentucky Fried Chicken with biscuits and strawberry <laughs> jelly will do. It'll be all right. To the woman of God that, that preached the gospel, God bless you. Thank you. I'm asking that everybody pray for us. We're out of town also. I'm in Pennsylvania. And I was a little nervous. I didn't want to tell you where I was. I don't want to make sure I came in clear first because I know Pastor Millicent. Woo, it's tough on you. So, so being that everything is clear, yes, I'm out of town also. And I want you to pray for us. We have to be prepared for a wedding for a few minutes. No, no, I'm not getting married. Nope. Uh, but somebody else is, and I'm on the program to do some selection for that. So pray for us as God will give us, get us back safe and sound. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. You. Reverend Welcome Coleman, before, before, before you play, before you play, this is one of those unique Sundays where we've got somebody in, in Delaware, someone in Georgia, and now you're in Pennsylvania. I'm giving all these accolades that everybody left town without us, Elder. <laughs> <laughs> so let me, let me do this very quickly. Gracious God, in the name of Jesus, yes, wherever we may be, if we are traveling, God, I pray that you'll keep everybody safe. Yes. I pray, God, that you'll watch over our families. <clears throat> I pray, God, that you would just be God. Uh, at the name of Jesus, <laughs> we, we just ask you, God, just to keep everyone safe no matter where we are. But do please, God, stop by Georgia, stop by Delaware, stop by Pennsylvania, and wrap them and keep them in a special way. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 On that note, I feel like this song would be appropriate. I heard the preacher talking about it, and I heard you talking about it, Reverend. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory.
God bless everybody. God bless God. God bless you. Thank God bless you. you. God bless Brother, you. Brother, God bless you. Oh.